عشيت عمرك غريب مفارق الأوطان عشيت عمرك يا مولاي يا باب الحوائج عشيت عمرك غريب مفارق الأوطان والله ما اجتوفي The young, old women, men, and every segment leave their homes and their every commitment to walk and take advantage of every moment. People were taught a lesson. People were taught a lesson from your kind response in the face of harassment. Your benevolence shook the tyrant's government. Thy Lord has chosen you because your life to him was an investment due to your refinement from the pleasures of the world and its enjoyment. Hence, you were rewarded with the most honorable entitlements. Thy Lord has gracefully blessed you as you are the gate of fulfillment. I beg at the steps of your shrine, by the hardships of your imprisonment, nourish us with, the, with your divine commandments. Nourish us with your divine Commandments, respected viewers, brothers and sisters in Islam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to another live coverage from the holy city of Kazamiya with me, your host Ahmed Ali. As you can see behind me, uh, right now it's currently 7 a.m. Uh, Baghdad time, uh, and you can see the lovers of Ahl Bayt are not stopping, they are currently and constantly going and coming from you know cities within Baghdad, uh, cities from all over Iraq, they have come walking to the holy shrine of Imam al kadhim alayhi salam and to mention that we are approximately 500 meters away from the holy shrine so it's actually an honor to be where we are right now. Imam al kadhim alayhi salam, I would like to narrate some uh, quotes and then to find out why people actually come to flock towards uh, Imam al kadhim alayhi salam. I know that yesterday we talked about some stuff of his entitlements, so I would like to continue uh, his other entitles that he was given uh, by the Imams. Imam al kadhim alayhi salam earned many nicknames amongst the people from who are unique and uh, refined character of the Imam, peace be upon him. He was called Al Abdul Salih, the noble servant, for his perfect character and manners. We see that Imam Al Kadhim alayhi salam, he was very devoted. I mean, uh, inshallah, I'll mention a narration uh, by our scholars regarding this. But he's also mentioned as Al Kadhim. Yesterday we talked about why he was named Al Kadhim because he suppressed his anger, and that's why we need. You know, people, when, when you walk around uh, in the processions, when you when you interview the people walking to the Holy Shrine of Imam al Kalim, they're filled with love, with compassion to, 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 towards you, towards the Ahl Bayt, towards Imam al-Kadhim alayhi salam, that even if you, you know, insult them in, in any way, they will reply with a very beautiful face because they know that their Imam, the Imam that they're, that they're here for to condole, had such noble character he was also called i would like to focus on this he was also called babul hawaij the door of fulfillment the door of fulfilling fulfilling the needs and the wishes and grant granting the wishes of the ahlul bayt alayhim salam and that's why it's very significant and that's why it's actually very significant to touch upon that imam al kadhim alayhi salam Imam al kadhim alayhi salam had many other names but Babu al hawaij is very important. Yesterday I interviewed uh, a little girl from actually from Kadhimiya. I brought her up on the stage with me and I, you know, it's a question and answer type of thing and it really touched me emotionally because to see such a young girl and they're, they're even younger boys and girls, people, you know, babies that can barely uh, crawl, uh, you know, they're in the strollers, but yet we do see them coming to the Holy Shrine of Muhammad Kalim alayhi salam. She said, when I asked her, what motivated you to come to the ziyarah of Muhammad Kalim alayhi salam at such a young age? I mean, 
some children tend to focus more on toys, focus more on, you know, they're, they're, they're not so much their studies, but their toys, TV, uh, you know, uh, just childish stuff. Yet she answered with such nice, you know, and such you know, extreme eloquence for, for a 10 year old. She says, that the motive behind my visitation to the Holy Shrine of Imam Musa al-Kadhim was to condole our 12th Imam, 12th awaited Imam, Imam Mahdi, may Allah hasten his reappearance and request from the 7th Imam to grant my wishes. <coughs> I mean, when we do hear that, at such a young age, at the age of 10, a girl speaks with such you know, with such nobility, you know, such courage. She says that I am here to condole the 12th Imam. She has cognizant understanding of who the Imam is. For a 10 year old to say this, it's very, very touching to the heart. And inshallah, it's, it's a lesson to, for all of us to actually learn from such a young age to, you know, to love Ahlul Bayt and knowing that her walking to the Holy Shrine of Muhammad Kalam alayhi salam is you know 100 percent guarantee that her wishes and her desires will be granted to her from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by the will of allah through imam musa al-kazim alayhi salam but another incident which actually uh, caught my eye is it's uh, you know you rarely see it in other cities but i noticed it a lot in uh, in kazmia is that young women young ladies uh, walk with a white banner, they're, they're rising a banner, and you know, money is, is attached to that banner. So, yesterday, I wanted to know why. So, I went on the streets when I saw, you know, there one maybe that's a coincidence, but a lot and, and you know, numerous, uh, you know, women just walked by with white banners and, and money attached to it. So, I went and asked, I was like, what is, what is the reason behind? you carrying a white flag with, with money attached to it and other things as well, you know, such as, uh, you know, gifts, you know, small gifts. Uh, but I'll, I'll, show, I'll share the answer with you is that she didn't want to appear on the camera because, you know, women in Iraq, you know, don't like to appear on cameras. But she said the money which is on the flag represents the ill ones or the individuals who couldn't come to the ziyarah of Imam Musa al-Kadhim alayhi salam and to the holy shrine so they ha they hang it they hang as much as they can uh, in, in in money on the flag so when that person upon reaching that person the holy tomb of Imam musa al-kadhim alayhi salam he would on that person's behalf you know whether they're old whether they're ill whether they have any situation that prevented them from coming to the ziyarah of Imam musa al-kadhim alayhi salam Upon entering and upon reaching the holy tomb of Musa al-Kadhim, they convey their salams on their behalf and then, you know, detach the money from the flag and throw it inside the holy tomb as a donation and as a sign that, you know, oh Imam, I couldn't come, but I have sent you something, you know, that has my soul in it, so you may accept my ziyara and, uh, you know, my uh, devotion towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and my dedication you know it takes great honor and, and great privilege to be where, where everybody is right now because this area specifically and as mentioned we are approximately 500 meters away from the holy shrine of Imam Musa al-Kadhim alayhi salam and to be in such an area is actually you know very honoring, you know. Uh, people can sometimes be in Karbala. You know, I, I always, you know, in Karbala interview, uh, go around the Mawakib and Ashura. That has a specific atmosphere. But in Kazmiya, it's actually my first time since uh, I believe 2007. Uh, it's 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 a while ago, and I I asked one of the military people here. I said, compared to you know the previous years, what, how how do you see? You know the security in in Kalmi. I know that the security of Iraq right now uh, is is kind of loose, but in Kalmi, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, we have the line of Baghdad. I would also like to share why Imam Musa al-Kadhim is called the line of Baghdad. But after this, Imam al-Kadhim you know, he 
puts his love and shares his love over everyone in Kalmia and satisfies them and keeps it secure from any you know hatred from any person or individual or group or anyone who tries to harm his pilgrims that come to him you know right now as I mentioned 7 a.m. 7.30 a.m. 7.43 to be precise a.m. and 500 meters away from the Holy Shrine of Imam Musa al-Kadhim alayhi salam but I would like to mention something is that when we do come to the ziyarah of Imam Musa al-Kadhim we should have one thing in mind that Imam Musa al-Kadhim when he was in prison one of the spies heard him saying oh Oh my Lord, you know that I had been asking you to spare me time to devote myself for your service. You have done that. Praise to be, praise be to you. Oh my Lord. When we do hear that, I mean, Imam Musa al-Kadhim salam doesn't need to show us this. No one needs to show us this to prove that Imam Musa al-Kadhim salam is devoted. Imam Musa al-Kadhim salam you know, is, is, is honorable. No, he's trying to show us that when we come to the ziyara of, when we come to his ziyara, when we come to his pilgrimage, when we come to his visitation, whatever you want to call it, we should hold that within us, that bearing devotion in our hearts strengthens our soul and strengthens our spirituality. Now I would like to mention a short story why Imam Musa al-Kadhim is called the Lion of Baghdad. One time Harun Rashid invited one of the you know supreme magicians of his time and he invited Imam Musa al-Kadhim they sat on the same dining table and whenever Imam Musa al-Kadhim would go to pick up a piece of bread the magician would do something would do his magic act and the piece, the, the, the piece of bread would disappear from the hands of Imam al-Kadhim alayhi salam. Once, twice, third, Harun Rashid, may Allah curse him, and this magician started laughing, you know, because they, they, they tried to humiliate the Imam. When the Imam realized this, there was, you know, a, a carpet on, on, or a picture on the wall in, in Harun's castle. He told, he spoke to the picture. He said, oh, the lion of Allah, take the enemy of Allah. The lion came out of that picture and ate the magician. Harun al-Rashid passed away. You know, he was, he was unconscious along with his maids, along with everyone that was there, that was watching. To see a lion coming out of a picture and going to, you know, eat the enemy of Allah because he, 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 tried, he tried to humiliate the Imam Harun al-Rashid went on his knees begging the Imam. He said, I beg your forgiveness. I, I didn't mean to humiliate you. Can you please return what the, what the lion ate? Can you return the magician? <laughs> Imam Musa al-Kalam <laughs> said, if the snake of Musa could return the ropes that it ate from the enemies, surely this lion can return the magician. And so it happened. We see various miracles from Imam Musa al-Kadhim alayhi salam. I don't know how much time do we have, but we have approximately a couple more, more minutes. But why I would like to go back to why he's entitled Bab al-Hawa'ij. You know, people here, yes, they do come flocking towards Imam Musa al-Kadhim alayhi salam. Everyone has its own desire, their own desire, their own pleasure. But they come here with a mindset that they have truly come here for their desires. This is the place where their desires actually accepted and, and granted, sorry. So to have that within our lives is actually a blessing. So I would like to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless everyone on this, you know, uh, yet it is the martyrdom of our uh, seventh Imam, Imam uh, Musa al-Kadhim alayhi salam. So I would like to condole you, my respected viewers, but here with me, uh, a young, a young girl from. Salamun alaikum, afwan, afwan. Salamun alaikum, salamun alaikum. Shonis, nienja ya. Nienja ya. Nienja ya. Baghdad. 
Baghdad, I don't know. I don't know. She, 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 she's not. Uh, she, she can't talk right now. She can't express. Maybe she's shy because of the camera and because of the people watching her. But I mean, speechless. Yes, you can say speechless uh, for such a young age because the girl yesterday was uh, somewhat, uh, you know, uh, encouraged to talk in front of the camera. Huh? Jazz Tachin? Nien Jaya? When bed come? Nien Jaya. Nien Jaya. Ah, hello. Is it Amrich? Six Nien. So she's saying that uh, her house is the, in the Adamiya district uh, within uh, the few areas surrounding uh, Al Kadamiya, and she's six years old. I mean, Yes, the ages are decreasing from yesterday. Yesterday we had 10 years old, now we have 6 years old. What do you want to do with Imam? So, you know, she, she is kind of shy. Uh, she told us that she was prepared, but you know, when you when you get in front of the camera, you do become shy. Um, but she's saying, I've come here to you know to convey my salams and uh, visit the holy shrine of our beloved Imam, our seventh Imam, Imam Musa Al Kadhim alayhi salam. I mean, to be in her shoes right now is actually a blessing. And I would like to ask everyone, uh, the respected viewers, to actually you know learn from this because as, at, at, at such a young age, she's dedicated herself at what 8 a.m in the morning to come walking to the holy shrine Adami is, is approximately uh, you know 20 or, or, or less kilometers from uh, al kadhamiya so it's 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 a long way to actually come uh, to visit yet we do see her walking from her home uh, to here uh, but i think we're going to go into a short break uh, and come back to you shortly so uh, break لا لا دقيقة خلي خلي. Respected viewers, welcome back. Uh, hope you inshallah uh, enjoyed uh, what you have just seen uh, from you know from the streets of uh, Al Kadhimiya. But I would like to mention something before we go, before we end uh, uh, this morning's program, is that we need to preserve within our hearts the love and the compassion towards Ahlul Bayt to you know, learn from this young girl that was just beside me, six years old, waking up in the morning. Some people can't wake up in the morning, you know, because uh, they, they have night shifts or, or whatever. But yet we do see this young girl, you know, six years old, coming from Adamiya, Adamiya district from Baghdad, to come and condole Imam Al Mahdi, may Allah since the appearance and condole you know, Imam al-Jawad for the martyrdom of, of, of his grandfather, uh, Imam uh, Musa al-Kadhim alayhi salam. So I would like to thank you, uh, respect viewers, for tuning in uh, in this exclusive live coverage from the holy city of Kadhimiya. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala honor you and bless you to come to the ziyara of Imam Musa al-Kadhim alayhi salam whenever you can. But it's blessed to be here uh, where we are right now. And uh, thank you very much for tuning in. والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته